air circuit breaker is most commonly found in the low voltage switchgear and they have the capacity to break the fault current as high as 200 kilo ampere which is huge and in this video we are going to understand the different components and the architecture of the low voltage power circuit breakers. Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another interesting video. Now in the previous video where we talked about the different components of the vacuum circuit breaker, I asked whether if you want me to make a video on low voltage circuit breaker as well. And a lot of you said yes. And hence this video here. So now let's talk about the low voltage circuit breaker. What you can see on your screen is the image of the low voltage circuit breaker. And this is mostly the air type circuit breaker or the air circuit breaker they are also called as the low voltage power circuit breaker now there are different types in low voltage already available like there can be mcb and other things molded circuit breaker and what we are going to talk in this video is specifically on the power circuit breaker why they are called it call it as power circuit breaker because they have the capacities higher than the other breakers available in the low voltage so if we talk about the capacities here, so the voltage rating for the circuit breaker is available for less than 1000 volt and most commonly you will see 600 volts or uh, the lower ratings than that. The uh, rated current, I'm talking about the rated continuous current, their capacity can go up to 6300 ampere and their short circuit breaking and carrying capacity is up to 200 kilo ampere which is huge now when we compare it with the medium voltage and the high voltage circuit breaker which we talked about in the previous video by the way i'll give link for those video if you are interested to watch down in the description you can go and check it out after this video so when we compare it with those medium and high voltage circuit breaker the capacity of low voltage is very high because the voltage and current equation is completely different in all the scenarios high voltage the voltage is very high current is low in case of low voltage voltage is low and current rating is very high and hence you will see their capacities the braking capacity is very very higher when compared to the medium and high voltage circuit breaker so that is the general rating of the low voltage power circuit breaker now let's look at the front architecture of this breaker so again what you can see is the image of the low voltage power circuit breaker the important part in this breaker that you can see is the top left side of this breaker which is called as the trip unit. So this trip unit helps breaker understand the different types of fault like for example the ground fault. This trip unit will identify that fault and give immediate command to the circuit breaker to trip thereby protecting the system now this is definitely different than that what we have seen in the medium and high voltage in medium voltage for example we have dedicated relays which will send the signals to the circuit breaker but here in this breaker the trip unit is the integral part of the circuit breaker which you can see here on the screen now on this trip unit there are a lot of options available lot of different uh, types of trip units are available which you can choose from different settings can be done on this trip unit and there are a lot of advancement that has happened in that now there are some trip units available which are touch screen so example you can see on your screen you can just use the fingers to control the different parameters or the different settings of the trip unit very very important part when we talk about the low voltage circuit breaker power circuit breaker then moving on you will see that there are push buttons are available so we have a push button for on operation push button for close operation plus there are indications provided to indicate whether the circuit breaker is in the open condition or it is in the closed condition plus whether the spring is charged or not charged that is also that indication mechanical indication is also provided on the front side of the circuit breaker which is by the way mandatory by the different standard like for example IEC standard so th those are the push buttons and the indication so you can simply push this red push button to open the circuit breaker and green push button to close the circuit breaker 
so that is uh, indication and the push buttons then moving on you can also see a black color handle here which is nothing but a handle provided to charge the operating mechanism of the circuit breaker manually now this circuit breaker comes with a dedicated operating mechanism a stored energy mechanism which is the spring mechanism and with the help of that spring mechanism the contacts of the breakers are closed and separated now since we are providing the mechanism these breakers can also be operated from the remote location because we have a dedicated stored energy mechanism for this circuit breaker and to charge that springs definitely we will need some means so either that can be provided by this handle which you can see here in the black color you can charge that handle to charge the spring and then give the command to close the circuit breaker or the option is also provided for motor charging so where motor can be used to charge that spring but if let's say uh, something has happened to the motor and motor is not working then this handle manual charging handle will help to charge the springs of the motor understood so that is the charging handle and the operating mechanism of the circuit breaker and then you will also find one more thing in the inference that is operation counter so the job of this operation counter is to count the number of operation the breaker has performed it open operation close operation it will simply uh, count that number of operation so it is very very easy for user to identify the number of operation performed by this particular breaker clear so that is the front architecture of the low voltage circuit breaker then just like what we have seen in the medium voltage circuit breaker range that the circuit breakers comes with two different architecture one is the fixed type architecture another one is the withdrawable type architecture as the name suggests the fixed one are fixed in the panel whereas the withdrawable type breaker can be removed from the panel let's say in case you want to carry out maintenance or some other activities those breakers can be taken out from the panel uh, uh, for the different types of activities which we will talk about uh, shortly so those are the two different architecture available for a low voltage circuit breaker as well let us see that using the image so here you can see this is the back view of the two architectures that we have so the left hand side what you can see is the fixed type circuit breaker and the right one you can see it's the with drawable type circuit breaker so definitely there is a difference in the architecture you can see the connection here is fixed so you will be connecting the supplies like this and this withdrawable type are just like the plug and play device like the usb device that we have let's say for example the mouse you simply connect the mouse to the computer and remove it when you want so it's simply the plug and play operation the same thing the same methodology is also applicable for this withdrawable type low voltage circuit breaker you can simply push the circuit breaker inside and take it out when you want now in there are many cases where the withdrawable type circuit breaker uh, is advantageous when we compare it with the fixed type the reason is let's say for example uh, you are using a withdrawable circuit breaker and somehow the circuit breaker is not working some fault has occurred and circuit breaker is completely damaged now in that case what you can do is you can simply remove the breaker put the another spare breaker and close it that's it your downtime is significantly reduced now imagine a situation you have a fixed type breaker and the fault has occurred the breaker is damaged now what you have to do somebody has to go there take out the panel remove the fixed uh, assembly of the breaker remove that breaker put the breaker new breaker and then connect it so definitely the downtime in case of fixed breaker is very very high compared to the withdrawable and in such scenarios the withdrawable breaker definitely uh, gives more advantage when we compare it with the fixed type so those are the two different architecture that we have and when we use withdrawable breaker there is one more component that adds is the chassis of the breaker so let me show you the image here so you can see this part here the outer shell is the chassis for that breaker so which will help the breaker to come out and go in uh, I, I have one more image that will clarify that to you more clearly so you see this portion is the chassis and inside this chassis, chassis this breaker can slide in and slide out very very easily clear 
so that is the withdrawable type circuit breaker and those were some of the components and some of the architecture of the low voltage circuit breaker and if you find my youtube videos helpful then you will definitely love the courses that i have created on different topics of electrical engineering you can simply go on courses.theelectricalguide.in and check out the different courses that are available definitely it will be of great help to you thank you so much i hope you have understood now basic things or basic components of the low voltage circuit breaker if you found this video helpful then do comment helpful in the comment section below in that way i'll understand this type of content is helping you and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the future updates thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning